been a while. Seven months, if I'm correct. Uh, this might be tougher than I thought. Maybe I'll do this in sections. Yeah, it's going to be tougher than I thought. I'm just going to go ahead and do it in sections. So, uh, how's everyone doing? I know it's been like seven months since I last did a video, I think. Seven or eight months. Uh, I am terribly sorry about that, guys. This year has been incredibly hectic and ridiculously busy beyond belief. Um, so, if you don't already know what I'm doing here, going to be making for you guys a sea serpent. I'm going to try to get as much of it done in a single video as I can. And this is a brand new phone that I'm recording on. That's another one of the things that happened this year that was kind of a setback. So, let's see. Let's see, let's see how this goes. Let us see how this goes. How this peace comes and goes. Hope you like my little number right there. That's specifically for you guys, for Josh and Dad. to you. Okay. I don't know what the hell this thing is. It's stuck in my clay. Whatever. It's a swirly swirl. problems when I put it in the oven later. Uh, so, okay, this one's going to be kind of easy because it's a serpentine shape, you know. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. I'm trying to do this section by section. I was originally planning to just put it on uh, at once, all at once. But the thing about polymer clay, if you've never worked with it before, is that you got to almost always constantly keep it warm to a certain degree or else it's going to harden. And I kind of misjudged its elasticity. And by that, I mean I thought this thing was going to be a bit more cooperative when I flattened it out. I didn't put that in the video because that pretty much took forever. Um, and I didn't want to bore you guys with those details. So that's pretty much what's going on here now putting on the stuff that I rolled out earlier, and hopefully it works, because if you think about it by this logic, it's almost already halfway done, kind of, sort of, maybe, perhaps, not really, who knows, but anyway, the point is, we're going to have something cool, and we're going to have something fun, and like I said, this is a new phone. Uh, my old one let me record videos up to 17 minutes long. I don't know how long this one's going to let me record. I hope it doesn't screw me over with some ridiculous like number, like 5 minutes. I don't want to bring you guys like a multi-section video because I know that those aren't always fun to keep up with. Let's uh, uh, say about here. So how you guys been? I'm sorry I haven't posted anything very long time, like I said, this year has been um, kind of hectic in a lot of ways. I had a lot of personal stuff going on, and I had a lot of outside things going on as well. I changed departments from the store that I work at, so I work at the meat department now. I don't cut meats though, but I do distribute meats to people, you know, from behind the counter and stuff, uh, like a butcher shop. That's kind of fun. I guess it was a good change.
because I was tired of pushing carts all the time. I haven't gotten a new job outside of that yet because the job market is a pain in the ass. Sorry. If you guys have a problem with profanity, I apologize. I'm going to try not to use it too much. Um, but if this, if this does end up being kind of a multi-section video, um, I just hope you guys enjoy them, because I was super excited to finally get this out to you guys after a long time of not doing anything, or just kind of being silent. Oh! Oh! Sorry, one more thing. Um, if you guys have been trying to contact me on Snapchat and I haven't been answering, um, I don't have a Snapchat anymore. It's not on my phone, and I will tell you why. Okay, first of all, when I got my new phone, I had to download a lot of my old apps again. And so when I tried to download Snapchat, it wouldn't work. And I sort of had a bit of a light bulb moment. I thought to myself, well, Snapchat isn't exactly helping me to do what I had intended to do from the first place. I understand that it's a good way to keep, like, in contact with your, you know, subscribers and followers and stuff. Um, and I love nothing more than to talk to you guys. I really do. Um, so I just don't have that anymore. It's, it wasn't working on my phone when I was trying to put it on there. Uh, so I just didn't bother. And I took a design class this semester in college, so I went back to that. It's not that I had dropped out or anything, I just didn't really have the money to pay for it. Um, but I'm good now. I can pay for classes and I'm working on a certificate in, uh, in technology and art and design. So that should be finished hopefully within a year. And then I'll have a, a job I'm hoping to have a job pertaining to that certificate, something pertaining to my field of study, or at least just to get experience within that field so I can start working in that more closely. Because ultimately speaking, what I really want to be doing is animation. Because um, I think I mentioned that like a hundred freaking videos ago that when I made this channel, my original intention for it was to have animations in it. Um, but uh, I haven't been able to do that because I am poor, basically, <laughs> in the sense that I can't afford like fancy technology, and I always say that a thousand times. Um, I don't know how the hell I got off track. Sorry, uh, about the social media thing. Um, so I don't have the Snapchat, but I do have an Instagram. I will put that in the, in the description below, or if you want to try and find me manually, uh, which I know I started following Arthur, the Monster Master from World of Monsters. And if you want to check out his channel, if you like monsters, you totally should. He does a lot of fun stuff on there. And so I'm, I'm following him, and I guess he followed me back. So if you guys want to find me on Instagram, you can. It's pretty simple. It's just my... It's Servillon Josh altogether. You know, last name first, first name last. And it's pretty much a picture of, of me eating a rice ball, all dramatic-like in the background. Um, I don't know what time this video is going to go up. It's kind of late into the evening. I had planned to do this earlier. But a few other things kind of got me sidetracked. But, well, yeah, look at this. We're almost already halfway there. Um, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys what this thing was. It's a sea serpent. If I did, then cool. If I did, then well, there you go. Um, and also, I'm extremely grateful to you guys for sticking to this channel, even though I haven't been making a whole lot of content. And so... You know, for you loyal fans out there that are watching my videos, or that continue to watch my videos, or that stayed subscribed even though I wasn't doing much stuff, I am, like, beyond grateful to you guys. Um, I really, 
very much appreciate that. You have no idea how much it actually does mean to me. Because I thought to myself, while all that stuff is going on, like, I haven't been doing much. I'm probably going to lose subscribers. People are going to go away. No one's going to comment. Surprisingly, I actually got a few more subscribers in that time. I think I was at 39. 37, now I'm at 40. I haven't really checked the number. Um, for those of you guys who did subscribe, sorry to keep you waiting for so long. And by so long, I mean seven months. God, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to do that to you. I really didn't. I had so many aspirations and dreams and intentions to like finish all this stuff and to get it out to you sooner than that. But like I, like I said, I went back to school. I wasn't trying to avoid going back to school or anything. I just didn't have the money at the time. Um, eventually, I finally was able to pay and register for classes, which was a bit of a roller coaster, because I was going to go sooner than I had been before, than I was this semester. But it turns out that nobody had nobody had um, signed up for those classes that I was going to take, which are a part of my of my certificate and so they canceled the classes and they said okay we're going to reimburse the money that you had and they kept it but here's what happened when I went back to sign up for the fall semester which was a big relief by the way I don't know if you guys remember when I first started this channel I was complaining a lot about going to college and whatever um, let me tell you something if you're new to the college scene over time I guarantee you, you will grow to appreciate it. Because it does cut out routine, and it does give you this chance to kind of get away from home for a while and just get out and kind of see a new scene for a little bit. And that was kind of me, you know? I grew to appreciate it over time, and I still do, very much. And I just want to do good, you know? Even though I do not stem away from my original statement, that I was pretty much guilt-tripped into going to college, yeah. But that was, uh, that was the past. This is now, and it's great. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. I got a car, I guess. I don't know if you guys knew that I had a car. I don't know if I mentioned that. If I did, okay, I, I, I have a car. <laughs> if I didn't, well, I have a car. <laughs> That's nice. My uh, tire popped twice, so that happened. That took some money out of my account because I had to change those tires. Uh, what else is new? I'm alive. I'm still here. It's been kind of an emotional roller coaster on a personal level as well. I'm not going to get into detail about that because I don't want to bore you guys or depress you. You know, this is supposed to be a very happy, momentous occasion. Um, coming back to ladies and gents with the monster that I should have sculpted a long time ago, but did not have the time to do so. And I don't know when this thing is going to cut off. It's already at 13 minutes. Um, my old phone, like I said, let me shoot. So 17 minutes, I don't know how long this thing is going to let me shoot for it, or record, whatever terms people use in this day and age. And I don't know what the proper film terminology is. I'm just going to call it whatever the heck I feel like calling it. Deck Neb. You know, if you don't like, you can go suck it. Anyway. So, yeah. Uh, I got a lot to say, but I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was that I was going to tell you. Well, I mean, I need more clay. For the record, this stuff, I think I already mentioned it, is a real pain in the neck to work with. Another thing I gotta work on is my profanity. I don't think I've used a whole lot of it in this channel, but I don't want to get into the habit of using it frequently, because I know that maybe not everyone will appreciate that. Or some people genuinely don't care, but I'm trying not to make a full-on habit of it, because I have made a big habit of it, and I don't like it. But it's a very difficult habit to fall out of. Uh, so, Sea Serpent. Uh, in the comments below, guys, give me your honest opinions, what kind of monsters you like. Sky monsters, like giant birds and stuff. 
sea monsters, land monsters. I have a strong preference for sea monsters. Because, in my opinion, sea monsters do actually exist to some degree. Uh, and that is because so many parts of the world's oceans have remained unexplored. And we don't fully really know what's down there, do we? No. Nope. We've spent more money exploring space, not trying to bash on anyone's career or aspirations or anything. That, you know, we haven't really spent a whole lot of time exploring uh, the sea. And it's a difficult terrain to map, so I'm not mad about it. But in my personal opinion, I think we do have sea monsters. I think somewhere beneath the waves, in those, in the forest trenches, the ocean depths, we have creatures undiscovered and unseen by the eyes of man. Maybe sea dragons, maybe Godzilla, you know. Um, it might sound like a ridiculous theory, but, I mean, do you guys have any proof that there isn't? You know? Sometimes you gotta think about these things. We spent so much time saying, well, this doesn't exist because we haven't found any proof of it, but the thing is, are you certain? Or are you just saying that because you think you have all the answers? So who is to say that somewhere beneath the ocean depths, there isn't a giant sea dragon? I mean, those sounds they recorded sound eerie and strange. I don't know if you've ever heard of those. So it's possible that we got giant sea creatures down there. If we don't know. Uh, I doubt they'd ever come up on land, aside from maybe these corpses, if they ever do show up, per se. But, uh, I really don't doubt it, you know. I really don't doubt that there's something else down there that we don't know about. Because in the end, we've only investigated so much of the Earth's oceans. You know? We only know so much. And the thing is, contrary to public belief and what we like to believe about ourselves and our species and stuff, human beings don't hold all the answers, nor can we hold all the answers. It's impossible. And it's kind of erroneous to pretend that we do have all the answers. Because you never know how much of something is like, how much of, okay, how much of the existence of something and the proof of it is right underneath your nose but you're like stumbling around saying oh where is it i don't see it anywhere eh, you sure about that jethro <laughs> you know i don't know where i'm getting at with this i'm just rambling i'm this is, i'm like super excited that i finally got time to do this so my semester ended last week last wednesday actually and I finally got some time off. And the dudes at the meat department were finally like, oh, that's right. He has Mondays and Wednesdays because he has to go to school. Okay, we'll give him his Mondays and Wednesdays. Like, okay, here I am. It's a Wednesday. I don't care. I'm not skipping out on this video. My followers deserve it more than enough. Especially those of you guys who have stuck around. Um, uh, I... I don't know what else. I mean, again, there's the social media thing, you know. I don't have a Snapchat anymore. The reason I chose Instagram was because um, my buddies in my design class were like, oh, you should get an Instagram because you make cool stuff and you should, like, post your stuff on there. You'll get tons of followers and, and whatever. And I'm like, okay, this actually sounds something that would work for my, you know, for my artwork. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I am going to go ahead and create myself an Instagram. So if you guys want to go find me on Instagram, you can. I'm thinking that in this time off, if I over-organize myself well, um, I can sculpt them, some things off screen to have them on there. Um, and, uh, and just feature them on there, not necessarily on YouTube. 
because I will be sculpting stuff for this channel. I'm going to see if I can get something else out to you guys as soon as possible. And look at that. This thing's already running on 20 minutes. Okay, I don't know if I should cut it off here. Uh, maybe I should. I don't want to, like, make you guys sit through three minutes of me needing clay, or 30 minutes of me needing clay and just talking about stuff. Uh, prior to this, I wanted to make a video just talking to you guys, but, again, things kept coming up. Some relatives and stuff were in town. No one relative, actually, but still, you know. So... And I've just been trying to get some sleep and rest in general. Because this entire semester, I've been staying up till almost 4 in the morning, if not, not sleeping at all, just to get assignments done for class. Um, if you guys are in college or in high school and you're like doing that, I really advise against it. I really do. Because. It is a very unhealthy habit to get into. Extremely unhealthy. You're hurting yourself, you're hurting your health, and you're actually, um, I think you're lowering your ability to focus or something like that. Uh, uh, yeah. So you shouldn't do that. And uh, I've just been trying to catch up on some sleep because I've been needing a lot of sleep. That's another thing I've been doing. That's why originally I was going to make this thing on Monday, but then I thought, wow, I need to chill. I've been doing far too much this week. I need to gather my wits, get some rest, make sure I'm good. I will do this thing on Wednesday, and uh, here I am. I could probably record two videos tonight, because again, I don't want to make you guys sit through like 30 minutes of me talking. Even though I would be kind of good because I'll get this thing done sooner. But I don't know. I might just cut it off here, maybe, and post it so as not to keep you guys waiting much longer. And I'll maybe record the other half as soon as that one is fully uploaded. And then I am using a kitchen knife with the, the broken tip for this. If you guys are somehow doing this at home or, or whatever. Um, sometimes when you're working in clay, you just need makeshift tools. You don't need anything too fancy. Contrary to public belief in a bunch of arts and people, some sayings. Like I said, I'm just super happy that I'm finally going to do this, and I, I didn't really think to write a script or anything. But contrary to public belief and to what a lot of RNC people will tell you, you don't always need a bunch of sophisticated tools to work in clay. You just need your hands, some skill, and depending on what you're making, just a few little pins and needles here and there, literally, and some loop tools. Loop tools always come in handy. Uh, I'm not too worried about the texture of this guy's body, because... In the end, I'm just going to end up putting scales on them. I'm going to try to, because it might be a little bit more complex than I'm thinking. So, yeah. yeah. I might just cut it off there. It's already going banking on like 23 minutes. So, yes. But, there it is. Halfway through, literally, I think I can actually finish this tonight without staying up till like 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. like I did for class. It's not like I have to work in the morning, but it's not something I want to get into the habit of doing anymore. It's really not healthy. And I like my sleep. I need to sleep. <clears throat> okay. So, I don't know. You guys, tell me what you think in the comments. It's what I have so far. Uh, just remember, it is a sea dragon, that bent, bended, bent, did, did, did. I don't know. Boy, is it's not straight anymore. I was thinking this fellow was going to be the Python, but then I thought, nah, I don't want to do that. As long as 
just going to make more custom sea monster. Okay, so it's been my pleasure to bring that to you. I am by no means finished. I'm going to do my best to finish this tonight. I'm just going to upload this piece. And, uh, can you see my face cam I'm going to go ahead and upload this part, because I don't want to make you guys sit here for like 30 minutes just watching me do this. Uh, I'll probably do some work on it off camera as well, to it, so as to advance on it. And I'll see you guys again in a bit. Okay. And I'll put my, um, my Instagram stuff in the description below, if you want to follow that. All right.